it is now officially 2016 which is kind of crazy kind of exciting but for now we are going to be talking about all of our favorite things from 2015 from fashion to beauty to books to everything and yeah let's get into it like last year we are going to start off with a lipstick and for me it's kind of obvious if you've been watching any of our videos it is the Jordana Easy Liner in Tawny I got this in my advent calendar last year from Ellen and since then I have repurchased it like three times and I use it a lot. I'm wearing it today. I just really like it. It's like a lip liner but it's, I pretty much wear it as a lipstick and it's a really pretty nude colour. I, yep, yeah, favourite. My biggest pet peeve in life is applying lipstick. I just hate doing it and I can never put it on my lips properly. But when this bad boy came around, this is a Estee Lauder liquid lip potion I think it's called. Oh my gosh, the wand or brush or applicator, wherever you call it on this thing is amazing. It's like got a curve and a tip and I just love that and it makes it applying liquid lipstick so much easier. I just think it's genius. And this color is really awesome. It's like a bright orangey red and I think it's lots of fun and it stays really well on your lips. And I've just been wearing it a lot. Like anytime I want a bold lip, I'm like, come to me. So on to favorite makeup products. The big favorite for me this year has been the Clinique BB Cream in the color light. It's been a good color match for me because I haven't been getting much sun this year and it also is just a really nice lightweight kind of natural looking finish. It's been a really good friend to me this year. Bad, bad. Job well done. Job well done. Good job. My favorite item is also along that track of wanting something fast and quick and easy and that is my Milani ba ba baked blush. Baked. baked blush. And Tara got me this in my advent calendar last year and I have been obsessed with it. It doesn't look like I've used that much, but it used to be like this giant round mound and now it's just sort of flattened out. Speaking of highlighter cheek goodness, another favorite for me this year has been the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm. And it's just a beautiful highlighter and I've been getting really into, you know, the kind of contouring thing. I do have a couple of other highlighters, but I just, as soon as I got this, I just completely neglected the other ones and only use this now. So if that's not a favorite, I don't know what is. My last beauty favorite is a little bit random. It is the Directions Hair Dye in the color Violet. We did a video on how to ombre your hair purple and it got like 22,000 views, which is pretty cool. So I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. I tried to redo my purple hair yesterday, but I did a really bad job at it because I just did it super quickly, so it's quite patchy. So this is a bad example of this product, but I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so fun being able to like change up your color. It's only semi-permanent, so it just washes out. It's so easy. And yeah, I think it's really fun. Moving on to fashion. Do you want to kick it off? Since we're fashion bloggers, of course there has to be a fashion favorite. And for me, it has been these gourmand pants. I got these pants when I was going into my big six week placement and I knew I had to wear a lot of, you know, hospital appropriate attire and stuff. And I wanted some new pants. So happy with them. They're beautifully made. And I just love gourmand as a brand. They've got a cool like ethical thing going on. If you want to read up about it on their website. And ugh, these pants, they're just really nice. So nice. My favorite fashion item of 2015, I've decided are these shoes. These are some white high top leather sneakers by the brand Echo. And I just think they're so beautiful. Um, I love that all white sneaker. I think that's really trendy from 2015. I wore them so much to uni because they're so comfortable and I felt so swag. Yes, I just said that, swag. <laughs> is that a thing outside of New Zealand, swag? I think so, because Justin, so. Justin Bieber has a swag guy. Um, swag. Swag. Oh, because he says that on his song. Swag. Swag. Oh, you. That's weird though, like. <laughs> He's using it as a verb. Anyway. So my favorite accessory for the year, a little bit self-promoing, <laughs> but I've worn it so much, is a necklace from our little collection on our blog shop. It's a triangle quartz necklace on a silver chain. And I wore it so much. We ordered the necklaces for our blog shop like months before we launched it. And as soon as this arrived, I just kept wearing it. And I was like, no, no, they're gonna see it in the photos. It's gonna go step away from no, ask where it's from. You ask. No, you can't. And then she's like, no, I'm just gonna wear I'm it. Gonna wear it anyway. My favorite accessory of 2015 is actually a wallet. It is my beautiful little Kate Spade wallet that I got in Melbourne. So technically, I only got it in December, but I'm putting it as a favorite anyway because it's something that's really special to me. It's my first ever real designer purchase. I loved going into David Jones and being schmoozed by all the sales assistants. I felt so cool and I just think it's really beautiful and something I'll have 
for a very long time and so I wanted to put that in there. My favorite book of 2015, hands down, is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, I think that's her name. Um, this book was amazing, so amazing that I went out and I actually bought a copy. Usually I just get books from the library, I've just given up buying books and I just saw it in Paper Plus and it was like, oh my god, I need it. I need to read it again, it was so good. Set in World War II, follows two sisters in France during um, when it was occupied by Germany and it's just so emotional, it made me cry. Not many books make me cry, movies make me cry, books not so much, but so, so good. You have to read it. <laughs> okay. So my most read blog of the year and therefore favourite has been Views of Now, which I think was Ellen's blogger of the year last year. She just takes really cool photos and I love her writing style. She's got this really conversational tone and you yeah. really just feel like you're chatting to a friend, like I felt like we're friends, but we're really not, like I don't know her. But <laughs> So last year I said my favourite YouTuber was Victoria from In The Fro. And I'm kind of cheating a little bit because this year she's my favourite blogger, but you know. Girl Crush still going strong. But this year she relaunched her blog and it's just so beautiful. She is more focused on luxury fashion and her images are just beautiful, such high quality, and she does lots of writing, which I love reading, and I just think it's a beautiful blog and just love it so much. Blog goals, blog goals. I have been watching so much YouTube this year, I have no idea who is my favorite. I kind of just have a list right here and I'm just gonna pick one in the moment. And I'm gonna pick Aspen and Parker. So Aspen Ovid is an American YouTuber, she does like beauty, lifestyle, DIYs, fashion, all of that. Her videos are really, really cute and I loved watching them for quite a while. And then I discovered her blog channel and she runs it with her husband now. They just got married, they got married this year so it was, you know, an exciting time for the vlog viewers. And you know, it was really emotional, I may have cried in their wedding video. <laughs> So I think this year for me has been the year of Casey Neistat. I think it's been the year of Casey Neistat for a lot of people. He started daily vlogging this year and he's a filmmaker so of course they're amazing but they're just really inspiring from like a YouTuber perspective like if you make videos you're quite inspired by his videos and I think they're just enjoyable for other people as well. So if you're looking for a new YouTuber to check out, you probably already watched Casey <laughs> Neistat, but check out his videos. So we're gonna add a few extras to this year's favorites. We're gonna do a photo in a moment. Just, you know, get the feels going. So I went to Australia twice this year, which was so exciting. That wouldn't be my favorite moment, but then in November, I actually got a magazine internship, which was like, the most exciting thing in the world because I have wanted to work in a magazine for so long and I was just, it's just the coolest thing ever and yeah, any fellow journalists or writers out there will understand how excited I am. So on a similar kind of career goals line, this year my favourite moment was when I went down and did placement at Waikato Hospital. So I moved out for a month. I had my own little apartment which was so awesome so and cute. I was basically working as like an intern dietitian and it was just really awesome like I felt so like yes this is what I want to do like I want to live in my own apartment I want to be a dietitian that's a clinical dietitian in a hospital this is what I want to do so it was a very exciting kind of thing but kind of on a related note going on to our photo my favorite Instagram is actually from that time it's a photo from the last day of placement and I took it on my little patio outside my little apartment and because I was living by myself I took it by putting my phone in a cup on the bed <laughs> and I took so many photos but I eventually got this photo and it's of my outfit of the day kind of thing with all my lanyard with my pass card and stuff and yeah I think that's my favorite Instagram of the year not only really looks quite cool like I like my outfit and the way it looks but it's kind of got like a cool memory attached to it so Mine's quite similar, it's all about the memory behind the photo really. It is this photo from the Gold Coast and this is a shot of my champagne glass and the first night with my friends on the view of our balcony and it was just the most amazing apartment ever in the Gold Coast and we got it for like the cheapest price ever and we were so excited <laughs> when we went walked into the room. I'll link the vlog down below because it has the most hilarious reaction. It was just the best trip, first time going out of the country since I was two. So exciting, and I just thought this was a really pretty photo. And something that I'll look back on and be like, ah, oh, that was a good night. So that is our 2015 favorites. We hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! This is our Melbourne haul. So we're gonna show you all the things that we picked up while we were in Melbourne. And check out our Melbourne vlog linked below if you haven't already.